If you have a burnt out headlight or get caught speeding, be ready to take a breathalyzer test. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Since 2018, mandatory alcohol screenings have been a part of the criminal code. But now it seems more and more law enforcement agencies have started doing breathalyzers regularly during traffic stops. Regina Police Service did mandatory checks for the month of March. And now the RCMP says it will be checking for impaired drivers on all traffic stops. For us in Saskatchewan, and my role is overseeing traffic services and CTSS program, is that if we were doing the same as what Alberta was doing and, and get some sort of similar results to that, that what we would end up doing is making roads much safer for the traveling public. Drivers will not be forced to take a breathalyzer or get blood tests. But if people refuse to blow, they will be charged with refusal and they will have to go to court. Realistically, investigating impaired driving uh, takes a lot of resources from the police and demands a lot of resources in the court process. And our system just isn't equipped to have police officers spend the amount of time they need to spend conducting these investigations and then to have the courts spend the amount of time that needs to be spent prosecuting each person who's caught. The Canadian Civil Liberties Organization says these changes to the criminal code infringe on charter rights, specifically Section 8, which ensures a person is not subject to unreasonable search and seizure and may not make a dent in impaired driving anyways. We did a, a comprehensive examination of other jurisdictions that have also made this transition. And what we found is that you could not draw the direct conclusion that introducing mandatory breath samples uh, for every stop motorist definitively leads to reduction in impaired driving. The RCMP say its officers will use discretion, but they are supposed to check everyone they pull over. The Saskatoon Police Service says it's looking to expand its mandatory alcohol screening as well, but it says there's not a timeline on when that will roll out yet. Liam O'Connor, CBC News, Saskatoon.